The Wells County Sheriff's Department is investigating a shooting and home invasion that happened overnight. Investigators think those incidents may be connected. News Channel 15 was at both crime scenes this morning. Kaitor Pessoa joins us now with an update. Kaitor. Police aren't releasing any information yet, which has people in the area feeling confused and on edge. It was an unusual morning at the Silo Farms Mobile Park. It's not every day a man suffering from a gunshot wound sits injured in a car in the middle of the road as police and emergency responders rush to the scene. I was asleep when it happened, evidently. First thing I thought about was I got, my girlfriend's got two grandkids back there, so that's the first thing I was thinking about. I was shocked when I got up this morning and seen it at 6 o'clock. I didn't know what to think. I opened the door and let the dog out, and oh boy, here I go. Police have been investigating the shooting all day. They were called to this car at 5.30 this morning. A man and a woman were inside with both car doors open. The injured man was taken to the hospital. Police aren't sure if the shooting happened at the mobile home park. Residents who have lived here for years say this is not a violent neighborhood. It's not common around here. This is a quiet community. We don't have too much problems around here. And the only time you ever hear gunshots in this place is usually during hunting season. And other than that, you don't hear nothing. That's kind of scary, so, you know, but if you don't, you know, when you don't know if he was shot here or shot someplace else and drove here, you know, it's hard to tell. A law enforcement source tells us that around the same time of the shooting call, sheriff deputies were called to a home invasion about eight miles away in Toxin. Deputies aren't sure if the two incidents are related, but the homeowner did fire a shot during the home invasion. We have put in a call to the Wells County Sheriff. He hasn't returned our call yet. Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.